Greetings and welcome to another edition of the Jacksonville Buzz. I am your host, Adrienne Houghton. Now, I'm absolutely honored to have a television producer, screenwriter, and documentary filmmaker in the studio with me today, Mr. Mark Morey. Welcome. Well, thank you, Adrienne. I'm thrilled to be here. I, I also have to say that Jacksonville is very lucky to have a film festival at all, but one of your movies, The Building Bombs, is actually being aired on Saturday the 13th of April. Tell me what makes this movie so special? Well, this, this movie, it's actually the first documentary I made more than 30 years ago, and it received an Academy Award nomination at the time. You know, just my little film that I was making in my <laughs> attic, and uh, that was shocking. And um, now, and it had a big influence on changing things at this particular nuclear bomb factory for the better. So now, years later, the Motion Picture Academy has gone back and given it a 4K restoration, and it's being re-released, and it's on, on the film festival circuit. In fact, it's already won an award at the International Uranium Film Festival in Rio de Janeiro. What, what, what was it about this particular film that, um, or the subject that grasped you, you know, that creative body that right. was going on. It was like, I've, I, I've got to do something about this. Well, it, it, was a, it was about a nuclear weapons factory and a place, this was a gigantic factory in a rural area in South Carolina. I was living in Atlanta at the time and a friend of mine told me he was organizing a protest over there and I had no idea this place was there. N nobody knew anything about it. I thought, well, here's this big nuclear weapons factory in our backyard. I'm against nuclear war. Right. I don't like nuclear, so maybe I can do something. And that's really... And that's how it started. Yes, yes. And it was, it, was it just you and a camera, and then slowly but surely things started happening? Well, pretty much like that. I mean, I, it was, I just had the idea at the time, mm -hmm. and I was talking to an old friend of mine who had become a cameraman. I was describing what I just said to you, and he said, well, that sounds good, I like that. I will shoot it for you, and I will get the crew, and we'll work for free if you just pay, make the monthly payments on my camera that I just bought. <laughs> that sounds like a bit of a deal, actually. That's a great deal, yes. <laughs> you don't get that nowadays, do you? Well, you do a little bit. I mean, I'm still making some films that way. I'm currently making a film where all the people are volunteers on it because we all believe in the topic. Ah. I mean, that's the kind of films I like right. to make. And uh, so that's, yeah, it, it still can be done. It's maybe harder, but it can be done. How, how have you found the, the technology changing from when you first started doing that to the, to the way that you're making films now? I mean, the technology has completely changed. That first film, Building Minds, was shot on film. Yeah, right? yes, yes. And so now it's all digital. And so it's, it's easier and less expensive. Almost anybody can go out and make a film with their iPhone. I mean, some of the film I'm currently shooting, I shot on my iPhone and it's 4K. Is, hang on, hang on a minute. So you, you actually shot some of the film on your iPhone. Is, is it sort of the top of the range iPhone? Well, yeah, I, I, and I bought an iPhone. This was a couple of years ago. I bought an iPhone 13 just for that purpose. And I was in a situation where I was the only one there. So I, either I could shoot it with my iPhone or I oh. wouldn't get it. <laughs> oh, I've got a, I've got a 13. I, I'm, I'm now inspired that I'm going to go out now and... and well, and there's even an iPhone film festival, I understand. Is there really? Yes. Well, you should, be, you should, you should enter it then. <laughs> well, maybe I will. <laughs> so what, what, are your, what are the next projects that you've got going? You know, are they all in the same vein? Well, they're... they're the, certainly one I'm working on right now that's in post-production is in the same vein in the sense that it's a an important social issue yeah. that I think it's important to bring to people's attention. It's called the baristas versus the billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, about the Starbucks union drive. Yeah. And, and, and that actually now Starbucks has finally agreed to come to the ta bargaining table after two years of firing baristas and treating them very badly. and even trying to go to the Supreme Court to have more baristas fired. So that's gonna be an interesting documentary. Wonderful, and when's that due to come out? Should be this next fall. We'll watch that space. Great. So I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the 13th of April because that's when I'm hoping to go and see Building Bombs. Um, but what can you tell me that I should be looking for? 
Well, as far as Building Barnes goes, that's at the Downtown Library at 1215 on Saturday the 13th, and I will be there doing a Q&A, answering questions, and there will be Jacksonville people there who were involved in making the film and supporting the film. Mark, thank you so much for coming in. Thank it's you, been Adrian. An absolute pleasure. pleasure. Yes. And don't forget, if you'd like to know any more information about the Jacksonville Film Festival, or indeed Mark Morrow, you can find it on dailynewsnetwork.com.